welcome to another episode of the many roads we travel not unboxing uh on this video we're going to be talking about uh zolocon and our experience and the things that we we got um what was your experience like uh overall the uh the whole kind of experience was actually it was good it honestly it's just like pretty much like any other year we go um Let, let's first start off by talking about the different tickets so they understand what you're talking about so he has three different types of tickets you can get you can get the general mission daily one so you can go saturday or sunday then he has the ones where you get it's like a vip but you get goodie bag with that one that's what i got and that allows you to get an hour early on saturday, saturday. yeah and then they have the ultimate vip ticket which you get a lanyard and you get a uh, action figure and you get to go in he, this was the first year they ever did it but you got to go in with the vendors on friday and like do a like a little pre-show walk around and then you get to go in early on saturday and then you had your sunday you got emissions to come in so amber got me the uh ultimate vip pass um for valentine's day yes so this is the picture of the figure that you get and then of course on the back it tells you stuff um and then uh allegedly it was sponsored by monster i think i don't know or they just had the monster lanyards oh that too <laughs> um so with that said if you get the ultimate vip that was the only way you can get the usable kind of exclusive figure which is this guy right here um, the uh the other light yeah there we go so that's uh the back which is a pretty cool picture and then the figure itself which i really like this style of figure mm -hmm. and in a way i'm glad to see that he went in this direction instead of going in the other direction with the, the figures he was making before um not saying anything like bad about his figures in the past i enjoy them i think they're pretty neat but this is more this is just a better sculpt it's a better sculpt it's more articulate i'm not a fan of multiple hands and heads yeah you know, i like you know figures that have accessories which is cool but i don't want to have a figure that has you know two sets of hands three different interchangeable heads it's just i really it's more for like like um toy shop toy photography you know because then you can change the mood and the you know the actions in your shots right but the, the, only, like the only thing only thing i can really think of why like they're a kid it's okay. not so much that it's more for the collector and kind of like what you were saying but also it's more about um for the poses how you want to have your figure displayed and then you can you know change the, the hands so the for example he has another hand right here and it looks like on the back I think it has the other hand. I could be wrong for the the bow. Um, but yeah, different hands could have like, um, one could be a closed fist, another one could be, you know, open palm or like this, like he's, you know, the figure's ready to hold something. So again, it's all up to the collector how you want to display your figures if you like to open them. Um, I'm gonna leave mine in the box um but yeah even with the wrestling figures you know they're they're making them to where they have interchangeable hands and heads and you know the only downfall is if you 
it really hurts to resell if you open up the figure and mm -hmm. you could resell it and you don't have the two sets of hands and the three heads it came with and so on. Um, a lot of parts to keep up with. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of it, you know, having those accessories, you got to have all the body parts too. Although they're just extra, to me, they're just extra pieces that are not needed. Um, but we also grew up in the 80s and 90s when figures didn't have all these extras. Well, yeah, they didn't have the extra parts, but they did have accessories. Well, that's and, what I'm saying. Like, you talk about extra hands, extra faces. Like, we didn't have that. You had to use your imagination. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, so with the, the Zolocon figure, definitely keeping this one in the box. Um, I heard that they sold out of that figure um, pretty much instantly. Really? Wow. Yeah, uh, he didn't have any available for, you know, sale at his table from what I heard. I could be wrong, but uh, usually those old kind of exclusive figure goes really quick. Um, if he doesn't sell, he'll have a certain amount for the, you know, the Ultimate VIP. And then if he doesn't sell, you know, all the Ultimate VIP, then he'll sell the figure at his table. Um, or at least that's what he has done in the past. Um, Pretty sure I remember seeing on the uh, website, and I could I could be mistaken, that they said something about it all being sold out. Okay. So the the tickets being all sold out for well, the ultimate VIP. Again, I mean this is a newer really sculpt. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's a cool figure, newer sculpt, um, completely different than what he was doing before. So I'm not surprised it sold out. So I actually like the little dagger. I don't know why. It kind of reminds me of something that the Green Ranger. I was going to say that. I was <laughs> going to say it reminded me of the Green Ranger dagger. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that's missing is the little buttons on the side. Yeah. I like the flute part. I'm glad I'm not the only one that <laughs> felt that. Um, but yeah, so that's all part of the... Uh, ultimate VIP and then Amber got the VIP which came with uh, a goodie bag came with a goodie and bag but also if you get the ultimate VIP or the goodie bag you get um you get artwork you get a print of uh is that in the bag too um I yes okay I'm sorry yeah, so this is actually the print. Let me make sure I have it somewhere. They're always really cool. And then they actually have the um, illustrator normally signs it, but his line was so long. Um, I, I didn't feel like staying in lines with Jensen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've uh, I've gotten actually this goodie bag one before, and usually they give us lanyards too in the past. And then they also had like a bunch of stuff in here this time I was kind of disappointed um I'm, all I had in it was an action figure so that is um a flexor figure from realm, uh, realm of the underworld and this body it's rubber yeah it's spendable so it's called flexor and um what people do is they'll get like um he was so he would sell um bags of like different heads and things like that and you can they're interchangeable um, this is also the same body at, for, uh, Skullman, which is the, the Zolan Khan exclusive figure, but, um, he made, the, uh, the Skullman, I want to say, like, two years ago, but yeah, it's, uh, this figure has the same body as Skullman, but what people I've seen on Realm the Underworld in the, in the group, um, they'll just customize them. They'll get different heads and swap them out and just, you know, customize their figure however they want. 
but um i don't know the name of this guy it's like he's naked <laughs> he's just chilling in his underwear and gloves on and shoes but yeah that's uh that's the fear that amber got from her mm. goodie bag yeah <laughs> i mean i'm grateful for the goodie bag but it's like at the same time after I, I guess i feel like it's not really a goodie bag it's just a random figure that they threw in and um i guess i kind of wish that it would have been stated on the website that it's not good that they were changing stuff up with this one because when you go and you think you're gonna it, it's gonna sound kind of silly, but like with the lanyard, at least I didn't have to, I wouldn't have had to wait in line again on Saturday. Oh yeah, and, you had to get a separate I mean, wristband. I, yeah, I had to get, and then Sunday I had to wait in line and it was like, you know, I had to keep getting the, the, the wristbands and with a three year old, it's not always the easiest thing to, to have to keep going and waiting in a line. Um, so that kind of was a little, I guess kind of, dis not disappointing, but it's kind of different that I had to get used to. Um, and then of course, like Gary said, I was thinking we we're going to get a couple random cool things in there and then I just got the one figure. So, Cause, so the one time you got a goodie bag, it, there was some Hot Wheels cars mm -hmm. in there and then some couple different like, uh, packs of trading cards, but it was just like, like unheard of stuff. Like mm -hmm. it looked like superheroes, but it's like superheroes we never even heard of. I but mm -hmm. yeah, there was it was like uh, multiple stuff, and then um, it's like vampire teeth one year, and I think it had, like vampire makeup or no, something. No, 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 no. It was uh, yeah. So the year after that, because when you got the the Hot Wheels cars, I got a Fantastic Four uh, thing figure mm -hmm. in the package, and I think I got a couple comic books, and then the year after that was the um the um. The uh, fake blood. Fake blood. That's what it, was it was the fake blood, and it, it was in the vial. It had like a gargoyle on the the it's top. It's really cool looking. It, it was neat. You yeah. could tell it's like you know some kind of like old vintage kind of thing. Um, and then yeah, and then now it's this. Yeah. Yeah. So. But, um, so to kind of give you an idea of what the older figures looked like before the, the newer Skullman, it was like this, but, um, it was a bendable figure. It was, uh, it was a little more articulate in the, uh, the arms and the legs moved and you could turn the head and that was pretty much it. But like pretty much the same style, same size, almost similar, you know, body style. But again, this one is more articulate. Uh, the elbows, knees, everything, you know, moves. So more articulation with this one. Um, but uh, so yeah, that's that's what we got going into it. And then Friday going in, it was. It was cool getting to go in the day that everybody else was setting up, although it would have been better if me and Jensen were there. Um, but also at the same time, you know, depending on what time you get in there, if you get in there, you know, right away, it's kind of pointless because you're just walking around waiting for people to put their stuff out. It's then also you might not see some vendors until the next day until saturday uh some people they will get all their stuff set up and then they'll just cover their stuff and then leave um i mean in a way it kind of gives you an idea what to expect unless you just start buying everything you see that you want <laughs> that friday <laughs> um I did get a couple of things that Friday night. Um, try not to drop everything here. So I did get this. 
and I was actually excited to see it in my excitement got the best of me for this one. Um, so when you pretty much have, you know, all the wrestling figures that you could want, like my LJN collection is complete. I got everybody except for if I really want to go down that rabbit hole and chasing after all the variations um, out there, like the Jake the Snake with no snakes, uh, the Killer Bees with no stripes, the list goes on. Um, same thing with, uh, you know, the Hasbro, mainly more so trying to get the green cards and then, you know, the, the Mailway Hogan and, you know, the more high-end stuff. But uh, for me, since I pretty much have, you know, what I want for the stuff that you can get here in the U.S., I'm still searching for the, the figures from Japan, Mexico, uh, the, the AAA action figures, uh, the New Japan uh, wrestling. And um, so one vendor actually had this. And I was excited because Vader in Two Cold Scorpio from Japan. Yeah, and this is something that you're not going to see here in the U.S. You know, just hanging on the shelf somewhere. Um, as you can see, it's all, you know, Japanese and all. So again, when I said, you know, my excitement got the best of me. I didn't notice down here. Yeah, there you go. It's a little bit better angle. I didn't see that. You know, the bottom was already open like that because I just saw it hanging like this, and I figured the bubble and everything was good. Um, the guy didn't tell me that there was damage done to the bottom, and then for you know the price he had on it. He came down a little bit, and we did a little bit of negotiating, and then for the price I got it for, you know, I was like, all right, cool, you know, getting it for me. And then it's like, I kind of wish he would have said something, but then again, it's just like, what are you going to do, you know? I'd say you can't get this stuff here in the US unless you want to take your chances with the eBay, and who knows what you're going to get when it shows up. Or if it does show up. I didn't even think we we're going to get that great Muda figure. But you, uh. What you got for me off of eBay. This was right when the pandemic happened. Yeah, yeah. And the guy stated that he was going to have a tracking number and all this other stuff. And he never sent the tracking number. And we're like, what's going on? But, uh. He actually sent it, so. so the the two pack of Vader and Scorpio that was Friday night and then I had a box of Puppet Master. So I got the blade figure and then that's pretty much all I got for um Friday night. So like I said, going into um the next day you have an idea of what's already there what to look for so the more i thought about it um well the friday night i was thinking about it and i was going to go back and buy the the rest of the puppet master figures but the guy already left so i came back the next day um amber was still waiting in line to get in jensen and i were able to go in because of the uh the pass so guy you know eventually comes back to his table and him and I made a deal and got the the rest of the figures. So there was each one. Unfortunately, um, they don't have their accessories, but if any of you guys out there watch this collect Puppet Master, you know how hard these figures are to find. Um, from Retro Puppet Master Tunneler, I want to do side by side. This is regular tunneler. 
And then this is Retro Tunnel. <laughs> and it, it's it's night and day. Yeah. <laughs> so why are they so different? Well, so this is supposed to be the very first tunneler. So if you watch Retro Puppet Master, that's supposed to be the very beginning. That's how, you know, that's when the puppets were made. This is what he looked like. And then this is what he turned into later on. Um, what else do? Cyclops. Oh, it moves. I yeah. That. Huh. He came with a, a pickaxe and a machine gun. Um, actually, Cyclops is the only one that is complete. It has the, um, telescope. Yeah. That was his accessory. That just sat right there. <laughs> and it's, he came with a saw blade that you put on here. She came with, uh, a dagger, a knife, and four leeches, and then uh, there would have been one leech in her mouth. Um, and then, who just has that? Pinhead. The body kind of reminds me of um, Luther from... Um... Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, uh, I know the exactly what you're talking about, Umbrella Academy. Yeah, yeah. And when I first saw it, I thought of the same exact thing. I was like, wow, he reminds me of Pinhead from Puppet Master. <laughs> Although you never seen the movie, yeah, so never. you wouldn't be yeah. able to make the, uh, the reference. Oh, no, I can't because um, I've seen yes. the actor figure. And he actually came with a, um, a dumbbell set. So he's supposed to be like the strongest one out of all of them. And unfortunately, he is missing a leg, but this is Retro Pinhead. The good thing is he has an accessory. His clothes are there, just like, you know, Retro Tunnelers' clothes are there. Um, but yeah, again, night and day, completely. I, I think I like the Retro one better. His, oh, that's cool. Yeah, he also came with a um a rope, uh, retro pinhead. Wait, that one's retro. This is retro pinhead. Oh, okay, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, this one definitely better. <laughs> uh, I didn't really care for the retro figures um i have the movie and then with me being a, a fan i got the whole uh collection I, I got all the figures um and i was very fortunate enough to when we went to um retrocon mm -hmm. yeah retrocon i found the blood splatter blade that i've been looking for for like over 20 years and not only did the guy have one but he had two so I bought them both. When I got the first, um, the first blade, I was looking at it, walking around and thinking to myself, wait a minute, I could have sworn the other blade looked a little different. So basically it looked like what they did was they had a thousand of the figures li um, lined up and then they just sprayed, you know, red paint all over them. <laughs> because if you look, not one blade is the same. Yeah. The blood spider is all different on every single one of them. So... I know I'm never going to be able to track down all, well, 998 figures, because <laughs> I got two, so. And then, um, I really like this one, the Festo. And it's interesting with him, he, uh, he comes with a, a marble, basically, and you put it right here in his palm of his hand, and you just hold it like that. I like his outfit, actually. Yeah. Um, 
he was shown in a very small part. Um, I want to say, was it Puppet Master 2? No, I, I think it was the first one. Uh, Tuon was doing a, a puppet show and he had Mephesto and somehow Mephesto caught on fire. And it was another puppet too um, that they never made into a figure except for Mephesto. But it, it was weird because Mephesto wasn't really one of the main character puppets. Mm -hmm. But he still got his own figure. That's cool though. Um, but if you look at the the preview exclusive, the the Japanese, the preview exclusive, he's um red. It looks more like a like a devil. Yeah, devil. And then the Japanese, I believe he's translucent. And I want to say there's one more. But yeah, the um the variations that we do on these figures is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, as soon as I saw it, I saw Blade. I was like, I gotta get Blade now. Because I feel like if I come back tomorrow, he's not going to be there. And of course, you know, like I say, if you guys know what you're looking at here, you know Blade is, you know, the top one. Um, unfortunately, he does not have the hatchet. Um, some of these I am going to keep, uh, some will be available, um, just gotta figure out what I want to, which ones I'm keeping, and then, so this came out, I want to say right after the game Heroes Quest, um, so the guy got this from, he said it was from Europe. It was a European um, exclusive. The ones I had, they had um, yellow, a yellow base. And you open it up and there's these little red skulls inside. Uh, the ones I had here, uh, the ones I had when I was younger had yellow skulls. So it could be just like a color variation mm -hmm. and then maybe different characters. I don't remember ever seeing this guy. Uh, so if you... Camera's over there, Okay, yeah. there we go. And this is like, you would roll it like that and whatever it lands on. Okay. So you just roll it and then whatever it's facing up, It'd be like attack seven and you'd be battling against somebody else and the object of the game is to get all uh, the skulls on the pegs and you win. It's the early version of D&D? &D. No, this is after D&D &D actually. Oh. Yeah. Um, for me, this was just pure nostalgia. So when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I didn't really want I didn't really care for this character, but the more I thought about it, I was like, I have not seen this since I was a kid. Basically, since I was in elementary school. Crazy. Yeah, so I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to get it. Why not? So that that's for me. Um, so basically, it would be getting back to the Puppet Master figures. It would probably be like Pinhead. Retro Pinhead. Retro Tunneler and Cyclops will be up for grabs and then I'm keeping the other four for myself. Um, so I'm gonna get these out of the way so I can get to the other couple things. Why are you doing that? So they actually have like Artist Alley and they have different like illustrators, different um, people that write books and stuff in that in that area. And I actually got to meet, I, I should have looked up his name before we started the video, but it's Jeff something. But he actually did Dragon Tales. And what other ones was it? Do you remember? 
I'm going through a blank right now. Yeah, it was... You'll see later in the video that I have a picture that I did with him. And he was a really nice guy. But my sister, my brother, and I loved watching Dragon Tales growing up. Um, so I got this autograph for my sister for uh, for Easter. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um... So, like I mentioned before, you know, with the Hasbro and all um, wrestling figures, um, I don't know, I'm like still on the fence about this and like, I like them, I think they're cool. Um, the, so you have zombie sailors or zombie sailor toys, you have heels and faces and there's one more that's making the, the Hasbro um, style figures. I can't remember the, um, the, the name of the other one. Um, it's like Superstar, I, I, I don't even remember. If you, if you know, feel free to comment uh, below. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, um, I was a fan of, uh, the One Man Gang, although, um, I pretty much, I saw, I caught a couple of his matches as One Man Gang, but I really saw him more as Akeem, and then also when he teamed with, uh, Boss Man and became, uh, the Twin Towers, but... And when I saw this, I was like, I, I gotta get it. <laughs> but, like, in a way, I feel like I'm going against Hasbro. Because it's not... It, it's cool, but it just, to me, it just doesn't seem like... It doesn't feel natural, in a way. It's like, yeah, they're the same scale as the Hasbro's. They are meant to go with the Hasbro line, but it's not WWF. Basically, right. it's like what I'm getting at. It's not like an official WWF or official WWE in a way. Um, and then I also got Andre Giant, which I kind of like the original Andre better. And also from the same line as um one man gang. Don't know why I was drawing a blank right there and he's right there off to the side. That was Andre in the black. This is the, the variant of Andre in the blue. And then you could also see this Andre has a red card. This Andre has a black card. And then oh no, I didn't see that. I didn't realize how much bags you had from there. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, it's not that much though. I, mean, I, think we, I think it's because we went through a couple different days, so I did, it just didn't feel like you're getting that much. My my wallet knew I was getting that much. Um, I did pick up a another one man gang and Andre. This is uh, Andre in the black. So these two are. Um, are available so if any of you are interested in these or the puppet master figures uh let me know and that is it for everything that i got in zoro con but um so yeah that was all on saturday i got the rest of this stuff um so 
the event itself, it's fun. Uh, we enjoy going. This is what we like to do for to celebrate Valentine's yeah. Day. It's like our seventh year going now. Um, so we've been together almost eight years this year, so it'll be seven years. I thought it was um, fifth year. Uh, because like, no 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 I was gonna say I I want to say like the first two years we were together we didn't go. Pretty sure we found out the first year. I have to look back on okay. Facebook because I recorded. Or, I mean I took pictures. It could have been fifth or sixth year. I want to say the first year we didn't go though. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, so we've we've been going for a long time. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so got down on Saturday. Um. For what it is, it's cool. Um, if you've never been, you know, you'll you'll have a good time. Um, Sundays, they also do costume contest and the um, um, custom, figure. custom figure building, uh, custom figure contest. But also, um, the, the venue that this event is held at is just historical on its own mm -hmm. uh the fuge was also uh astronaut training and With nasa yeah uh so all the the famous astronauts were in that building um buzz Aldry, neil armstrong um i mean the list goes on uh so when you go into the main room in the center um you look up and you can see um like this big like cylinder looking thing sticking up out of the ground and then there's like this um I'm trying to think of the right name or word to describe it but it's like this big arm i guess and then uh, when you walk up the steps to go to the, the top floor, because they also have vendors up there too, uh, once you get to the top of the steps, you look to your left and then there's the ball that the, um, the astronauts would sit in and they have it open to where you can actually look in and that would measure the, uh, the G-forces. Mm -hmm. So that would get them, you know, prepared for when they would, um, so it still spun around. Yeah. But it would also get them prepared for like when they would blast off to you yeah. know, go to space yeah. and all. Um, and then you go into, then you make a right, you go into the, um, basically like the control room and they have all the monitors and everything there. Uh, nothing's turned on. So you don't get to actually see the stuff like I doubt that stuff would work but, it's super old looking. Right, but I'm just saying like, at least like, you know, I had the monitors and stuff on. They probably don't work. You never know. Anyway. Anything's possible. Um, and then you walk into that room, you see all that, and you go into the other room, and then they have more vendors. They have a bar in there, and um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, so, Friday, Saturday, if you're, you know, if you don't care about the figure, if you don't care about, you know, seeing what everybody else has, you know, that Friday night, go Saturday. Um, especially if you haven't been there before, mm -hmm. uh, you can kind of like make a day out of it. And honestly, it's, You can walk around. I would say, like, how long do you think it would probably take you to walk around downstairs and then maybe a half an hour, if that? No, I mean, if you're really taking your time looking at everything I, and you only want to do one lap, I'd say, like, an hour. Okay. Because you got to remember you got the two circles. The, the outer circle, inner circle, yeah. and then and the one the main top. room. Um, but my... So, and then Sunday, the they opened up at 9, I think. No, I think it was 10. 10? Okay. Yeah. 10, you're able to get in. But the only thing is, though, and I understand. You're already nine. And I understand why it's later in the day is to keep people there. Yeah. But, you know, you get, you get there at 9, 
and let's just say you're you want to enter in the costume contest well the costume contest is until three so it really makes a long day um and then the custom figure contest is until two I feel like what we have to do is just get the hotel for that day also. Right. So that way we can kind of go back and forth. And then having a, a three-year-old, you know, when he's ready to go, he's he's ready to go. <laughs> yeah, he you know, was not. <laughs> Although he did, like, go and the, the guy that was dealing with the, um... <sighs> say Star Wars swords, and I know that's not right. <laughs> the, um... Please forgive her. She's not a huge Star Wars fan. I am a huge Star Wars fan. I just cannot, I just can't think of what it's called. Look, just because I like Jar Jar Binks does not mean that I am no, not a Star Wars fan. I can't fan. hear you. No. Misa thing. Uh, no. Lightsaber. lightsaber. <laughs> yes, the lightsaber guy. Um jensen absolutely loved and he let him hold the lightsaber and everything and he's like trying to go like this so it was really cute i really enjoyed that part with him but i mean overall it, it was fun um it's always nice seeing our friends yes and, and that, that's another reason why we like going to because uh like our friends with uh gorilla boys toys uh we get to see them maybe two three times a year yeah. give or take yeah. uh it's zolo Khan, the york show and then um the delaware show no no, no 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 they don't do that one anymore oh. no uh, uh, uh retro con oh, okay yeah, yeah yeah that that's the third yeah uh and then just some other you know toy uh toy vendors that we pretty much get to see only at that show or that one and um retrocon because uh, like some of the guys are from you know new jersey new york and for them to come down here to uh, maryland it's a little bit of uh, too much of a drive so uh it's like, it's like almost like a halfway point so get the Again, you know, get to see some friends that we don't get to see that often. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, get to get uh, some cool toys and just hang out. <laughs> so the next ZoloCon is their summer event, and that's August 17th and 18th. So if you want to check out and see what it's like, I feel the winter show, the one we just did, is a lot better. Um just because there's not really that many shows around that time and a lot of more people. I, f I feel we had a lot more people show up for the this one than when we went to this one last year for the summertime one. True. Because I um, feel like there's always a lot of other shows during the summertime that people kind of... Well, not only that, but to. also like during the summertime, a lot of people are on vacation and just going yeah. whatever, you know. Um, but this is there information if you want to see it and then it says uh check out the newest episode so they do mike and craig the past and then it looks like night of the living dead is going to be the next maybe it says zola world so maybe the night of the living dead is the next set of figures i'm not sure we'll have to check that out yeah. um yeah also, if you're interested in seeing, um, oh, so not only does uh, the guy who runs it have, you know, the exclusive figure, but he also makes his own figures from the underworld, and he has a bunch of them that you can also get at uh, Zolocon, mm -hmm. but if you're interested in checking out his figures, you can go to Realm of the Underworld, and check out the website he also sets up pretty much like everywhere yeah. uh paracon some of that figures down here below uh paracon i think he does new york comic con uh and he's he's pretty much all over the place 
Mike's a busy guy. Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. But, um, yeah, Realm of the Underworld is the figures, Zolocon, I'm sorry, uh, Zolo World is where you can get the protective cases for the figures. And, um, actually, it's been so long since <laughs> it's been to the site. I'm not sure what else can get on there, but I, I know he has the other uh, cases there. But, um, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, if you also are going to be there for a couple of days, they do have downstairs, they have like a little like bar area and they have like a um, escape room down yeah, there too. Yeah, we, we saw signs, but we never went to it. Yeah, having a three-year-old, we can't really just go in and do an escape room. I don't think he'd like be behind locked doors. <laughs> So, yeah, but they, that was actually pretty cool that they do stuff, you know, down there, too. Because it, that's where it's set up when Zolocon's not there, is they, they have their own little store area, so. Although being locked in a room with a three-year-old would be a little bit more of a challenge to get out, too, so. <laughs> All right, so this, this video, if you have stuck with us this long, thank you so much. Yes, thank um, you. <laughs> I'll just have a couple pictures after this uh, for showing... Uh, you know the 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 layout and everything that we did um we did stay at the holiday inn express we want to thank them they did a great job with us like always it's probably one of our favorite uh we just wish that the pancake maker was working but other than that yeah. other than that it wasn't that bad of a, of a trip so um anything else no that's mm -hmm. pretty much it uh i just realized how long this is going yes, and like yeah again if you're still here thank you for watching we <laughs> gratefully appreciate it yes you guys have a great night and this is amber and nick from the main road from travel we'll see you next time